Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Craniac Gaming. We're back with the Sacramento State Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. And we're coming off a huge upset victory over UCLA last time out. And in this video we're taking on Oregon who we beat last year actually by three. And we've started off this season red hot. We're 4-0. Again, coming off the huge upset victory over UCLA last week. And again, we beat Oregon last year, so... I don't see any reason why we can't beat him this year. But let's check out the starting lineups in this one. Of course, Sokolov, Foster, Evans, Leno, and Brock starting on our side. They got Floyd Stelly, Ollie Kreitz, Maury Bozeman, Jake Burnett, and Billy Cortez starting. And both Kreitz and Cortez are both freshmen. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they can do in this game. But anyways, here we go. Cortez getting the rebound off the missed free throw and gets the bucket. We take a 4-3 lead thanks to some free throws, but then Cortez throws it down, and they take the lead right back. Here's Kreitz on the fast break, going to lay it up over Sokolov to give him a 7-4 lead. And then here's Kreitz from the wing, draining the three. Oregon has an early 10-4 lead. Here's Leno trying to hit the mid-range jumper, no good. Three minutes into the game, we do not have a single field goal, as they hit another three to give him a 13-4 lead very early in this game. And then Sokolov nearly turns it over, gets the ball back, and gets the first bucket of the game. It's 13-6 to now. And how about this big block from Sean Brock? Nice to see the aggression there from him. As Bozeman misses a three, rebounded by Burnett, goes back up with it, and he's fouled by Evans. Evans on the other side, trying to hit the three, no good. Oregon on a fast break. Here's Kreitz right over Evans. No good, but Evans with his second foul of the game. He'd have to come out for a little bit. But then here's Bill Queen trying to lay it back up after the miss, but no good. But Frank Leno going to get the steal here. Drives inside, lays it up. First time it's no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and good. It's a seven-point ball game now. And then here's Christopher Hornsby trying to hit a three. No good. Tries to lay it up. Misses again. And now here's Kreitz all alone. Going to lay it up. And Kreitz is taking it to us so far in this game. Kreitz going to try to hit the three. And he does just that. He has 11 points. And we're not even halfway through the first half of the game. Now here's Bill Queen trying to hit the three. No good. But then Leno with the rebound. Back up with it. And good. And Leno has really improved so far this season. I think you could definitely make a case for him being the most improved player on the team. But anyways, Oregon up by 12 now. And here's Turk sign trying to make it a 10-point game. No good. Leno back up with it with authority. And it's a 10-point game yet again. Then here's Knight. Wide open for three. He's going to drain it. Now they're up by 13. Under eight minutes to go in the first half. Here's Turk sign Pulls up. Close range jumper, good. And it's 11 point game now. And Bozeman gonna miss initially. Goes back up with it and he is fouled by Leno. Leno's second foul of the game, so he has to come out. Evans actually back into the game, however. But Bozeman gonna drive right by Brock. Brock doesn't wanna get into foul trouble either. But Oregon up by 14 now. Make that 11 after Evans hits the three in the corner. Now it's 30 to 17, just over five minutes to go in the half, and a big three by Bozeman. He has 10 points so far. And look at this lob, Knight finding Griffith. And just like that, Oregon has an 18 point lead. So now Nelson Evans has to go Mamba mode pretty much, lays it up and good. And then here's the steal by Sokolov. Van Vector gonna take it up, chucks the ball to Foster in the corner. He drains the three, makes it a 13 point game. So now we got to depend on our defense to get us back in this one. But Steli going to hit the mid-range jumper. Makes it a 37-22 game. Then Foster goes back up with it for a bucket of his own. And then here's Foster again. This time he's going to pass it to Van Vector on the other side. And he drains it. Makes it a 10-point game. Just over three minutes to go in the half. And Van Vector going to get the rebound after Queen misses a free throw. Misses the layup. Then gets the steal. And then Brock goes up with it, no good. But he is fouled. Makes both of his free throws to make it a seven-point game. But then Oregon going to make it a nine-point game as Bate able to get the layup. And then here's Knight driving inside, good. Makes it a ten-point game yet again. Now under two minutes to go in the first half. Here's Turkson on the wing, able to drain it. Makes it a seven-point ball game. And then after the miss, here's Brock. Going to turn it over, however. And Kreitz goes back up with it. Gets fouled. 
and he makes the bucket as well. And just like that, it's a 10-point ball game again. Hornsby going to cut it down to eight. And 30 seconds to go in the half. Here's Foster able to make it a six-point ball game. But Tom winding down in the first half. Here's Griffith with a deep two. Able to drain it. Makes it 48-40 to 40 going into the half. Definitely not our best half of basketball so far this season. As we're shooting 37%, 4 for 16 from the three-point range. Oregon shooting 50% in contrast. And that's probably why they're winning the game. Kreitz with 16 points. Bozeman with 10. None of our players have double figures quite yet. But Foster trying to get there. Able to drain the three to make it a six-point ball game. He now has 10 points. And then Evans going to hit a three of his own. He has 12 now. And now Evans trying to take the lead here with the mid-range jumper. Good. And we're on a 10-1 to run to begin the second half. And we have our first lead of the game. But it doesn't last very long as Brock gets called for the goal 10 there. But we are going to get it right back, however, because Evans is going to hit the three from the wing. And then we're going to get a big steal here from Bill Queen. And he dunks it down for his first bucket of the game. It's 55-51. And then Turkson going to hit the three from the wing. Makes it a five-point game now. And then Turkson on the other side this time drains it again. He is hot right now. But then here's Griffith going to go up for the bucket. Makes it a six-point game. And then here's Fernandez just pulling up for three. Drains it. And it's a nine-point Sacramento State lead now. Griffith on the other side going to get a bucket to cut it down to seven. But then Queen on the other side gets the bucket and the foul. And he'd end up missing the free throw. Would be rebounded by Turkson. Back to Queen and he gets the bucket. So a four-point play the old-fashioned way. So just under eight minutes to go. They're going to get a bucket there. They make a few free throws to make it a seven-point game. And then here's Brock going back up with it. Gets fouled and gets the bucket as well. 70-61 to after he misses the free throw. And then a big three there by Kreitz. He has 23 points in the game. But he's not selfish with the basketball. He's going to pass it back to the Winkfield. He's going to hit the bucket there. Makes it a four-point game. Queen trying to answer back with a three of his own. No good. Rebounded by Leno. And he gets the bucket to make it a six-point game. Under six minutes to go now. Stelly going to go up with it. Gets the bucket. Now it's a four-point game. We use the timeout real quick. And then we're going to get a big steal from Frank Leno. We're going to push the ball down the court. Pass inside the Turk sign. Gets blocked initially. He gets his own rebound. And then gives it to Brock who gets the bucket and the foul. So now it's a seven-point game. Turk sign going to miss the three. Rebounded by Brock. Back up with it. And now it's a nine-point game. Four and a half minutes to go. Oregon running out of time. They turn the ball over again. Here's Foster. Going to lay it up and good. And we have a double-digit lead now with just four minutes to go. And here's Cortez going up with it. Misses it initially. Gets his own rebound. Goes back up with it and good. And it's a nine-point game now. Under four minutes to go. Evans misses the three. And they're going to get the rebound. They're on the fast break again. Here's Stelly. Passes inside to Kreitz and he dunks it down. Make it a seven-point game. Under three minutes to go. Here's Kreitz out to Stelly. And Stelly going to hit the two. His foot was on the line. Now a seven-point game. Just over two minutes to go. Pass to Bozeman. And he's able to get the bucket. Makes it a five-point game. This one going right down to the wire, it looks like. Brock going to pass out to Foster in the wing. He drains the three. Makes it an eight-point game. And that might just be the dagger. But Bozeman not going away. He gets a bucket there to make it a six-point game. And then Brock going to give it to Evans this time. He's going to hit the three. And that makes it a nine-point game. Oregon running out of time now. Cortez goes back up with it. Gets the bucket to make it a seven-point game. But then we're going to push the ball down the court as they double-team Sokolov. Here's Leno. He's going to pass it to Brock, who's going to give it to Foster, who's wide open for three. And he drains it. And we're going to walk away with a 90-80 to 80 victory as we beat Oregon once again, the second straight season we play them. And it's a little more lopsided, not really a lopsided victory, but a little more so than they did before. Nelson Evans, the player of the game with 20 points, three rebounds, two blocks, and two steals. Very good game from him. Very good game in general. We did start off really slowly, but we were able to pick it up in the second half. Foster with 18 points, Leno with 11, Brock with 10 points, 14 rebounds, and Turkson with 13 points. 
But Kreitz had a really good game in this one, 25 points. I don't know if we're going to play Oregon next year or the year after, but we might have to play them, just start up a little rivalry or something like that. But Kreitz is definitely a force to be reckoned with. And we made as many threes as they took in this game, by the way, which is an interesting stat. But next video, we're going to be taking on Maryland to start off the Great Alaska Shootout. And if we win that game, we're going to be taking on Indiana. And if we're able to beat Indiana, we'll have to play the winner of Middle Tennessee and Prairie View. So, sorry, Husker. Nebraska's not going to go to the final in the Great Alaska Shootout. But make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. Also, click on the notification bell to join the notification gang. If you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can always pledge to me on Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. And I really got to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for all your support, especially over the past 24 hours. It's been a very... For lack of a better word, very, like, saddening past 24 hours. Um, my dog actually passed away last night. Uh, I'm not going to really get into details about it, but it was kind of, a tra like, a traumatic thing for me. But I'm not going to get too much into detail about it. I'm still a little bit shaken up about how, like, sudden everything happened. But thank you guys for your support and all the well wishes and everything like that. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. You have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day now whenever you're watching this video. And like I always say, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. No matter what happens. I'm out of here. Deuces. Got, they trying to turn me to a monster. Every year I'm a conquer. Okay, see, I bring the thunder. Walking in humble, I leave my homies. Sting you like bumble. Running with pride. Ten over. I still will bliss. I don't fumble. Blind my